Hi, hello. So today I am going to be unpacking my ProCook pots and pan that just arrived. So they came nicely packaged as this large box. I did got carried away, I must say. But the thing is, my kitchen is new and I needed quite a lot of stuff. And up until now, I had only things just for make do. And I feel like that point just came i have to have a little bit more quality cookware because uh, they're not good quality i mean i had a pan that i think it was from sainsbury's home and i only used it for a year it got scratched and teflon up until it is new you can use it but after that you're supposed to get rid of it because um, there used to be a time when the teflon was toxic now i know things have changed but I'd rather not uh, trust that, that everything is safe. I'd rather be on the safe side by thinking it's not safe. So without further ado and any rumbling, let's just see what this box contains. Now, these pots and pans that I ordered are stainless steel and they're heavy duty stainless steel. It's actually, I think it's professional uh, cook line the reason why i got uh, stainless steel and it's actually mind you guys when you're buying a cookware there's stainless steel make sure it says on that 18 slash 10. the reason of that is the content uh, of stainless steel with the nickel which makes the pots and pans more durable and i know this because i used to work in a home appliances store in the past so whenever people would come for cutlery or for cookware they would specifically ask for 1810 mark on the pot because they do know that that's more durable and uh, less likely to rust so the, the lifespan of the pan is going to be longer they are a little bit on the expensive side well i suppose everyone has a different range of expensive slash cheap but if you want something that is going to last longer, you may as well just pay a little bit extra. Like for comparison, the pan that I used to talk about just previously from Sainsbury's, that used to be like £15. Now the pan that I ordered from here is almost like £50. Now for some that is expensive, for some it's cheap. My budget is actually a little bit more expensive, but I don't know, maybe for you it's cheap and that's entirely okay. But um, I'd rather invest into three... Uh, quality cookware they're more versatile and i can do anything in them than just have massive amounts of cookware they're just like useless one is sticking the other one is good for eggs the other one is good for i don't know like baking beans and stuff like that so i may as well just have three that i can use them for many meals and it keeps my kitchen a little bit tidier as well so let's just start opening this box has a lot of paper i must say but this is all going to the recycling don't worry i'm actually gonna put this on the ground because i'm gonna need this table this. okay so that's a user guide and care instructions it has an english it has some sharpening tools, care, tableware, then it's French, I don't know French, I'm sorry, and then it's German. I feel like the other languages are bigger than the English. English is just like two pages. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing because it doesn't say to me any clear instructions like I don't have this table in English so what am I supposed to do like translate it okay that's a little bit that's a little bit disappointing I must say okay never mind I'll look for instructions online I guess that's my invoice as you can see this whole purchase and you'll see what I bought is actually 170 pounds as I said, I did got a little bit carried away. So I got some wooden spoons and some utensils. So you'll, you'll see as I'm unpacking. Just put that out of the way. Get this manual as well. Although it's useless, I guess. Well, it's not useless. It still has some information that I can use, but I was expecting a little bit more. You know what I mean? 
Okay, so first I have a frying pan. It's a professional stainless steel. It's so... Now, there is no way I could actually pronounce this, as English is my second language and I'm new to the cookware, so you're just gonna have to make this for yourself. There you go. It's a 28 centimeters or 11 inches uncoated stainless steel. Oops, something inside. Anyway, let's just unpack this, open it. They're nicely packaged, I must say, like this uh, cardboard is uh, quite uh, thick, so I wouldn't expect any damages on them, as you do get sometimes some damages. Ooh. Ah. So apparently they have a 25 year guarantee. Now, I'm intending to use this cooker every day, so I'm not expecting exactly 25 years, but even if they last me for 10 years, I would be quite happy. My mom has something similar like this and she does use them for 20 odd years but she only uses them for special occasions like when we have guests or any event host for something like, uh, I don't know, birthday or, you know, what families celebrate, Christmas and stuff like that, right? So you can use this on induction, on a ceramic cup, on a gas, electric, is dishwasher safe, is oven safe and it's made in China. Um, that's the web page and it's British design, right? So let's see what it says on the back. So before first use, remove all the packaging and labeling from the pan. We've done that. Wash the pan in hot water and dry it thoroughly. Stainless steel cookware care. If stainless steel is overheated in this color, I've actually seen this happening. I've seen um, the stainless steel. I, I, I thought that it was uh, the quality, but sometimes, yes, it is the quality because, because they have a thick um bottom they're supposed to distribute heat much more evenly so this should be not a problem to actually heat it up so let's see what the instructions are saying the surface can develop a blue hue during use particularly on the interior this is not a fault with the product and does not affect the pan in use if using salt during cooking always add to hot cooking liquid or food never put salt directly on the stainless steel surface or in a cold pan as it can cause pitting on the surface of the stainless steel. Do you know that I actually didn't know this? I mean, everyone puts oil first in the pan, I guess, and then puts salt, but it's actually that I never specifically knew. Thank you, ProCook. It's good to know. Special instructions for the use on the induction hob. Mine is electric, but still, I am going to see this. Induction hob can deliver extremely high heat outputs often as double or triple times that of a typical gas hob. Therefore, extra care must be taken to reduce the heat setting as exclusive heat will damage the pan. Only use high heat or boost settings for boiling large quantities of water, for pasta, for example. Reduce the heat setting as soon as the desired temperature has been achieved. Do not use boost setting to heat oil or fat. So, special guidelines for the dishwasher use. I don't have a dishwasher, but this is for someone that does. To prevent glass slits becoming cloudy, it is recommended you use rinse aid, which prevents line scale clinging into the glass. Yeah, that's, that's actually something very important because uh, it does look very old and worn. And to be honest, like even if I did have a dishwasher, I would not put these pans into the dishwasher because sometimes you just don't know what's the capsules that you use into dishwasher. I mean, you could be thinking that they're high quality, but you know, it's like for day-to-day, -day, everyday things, I would put them in the dishwasher, but when it comes to something that I would like to keep it good for longer, I'll just give a, a, a clean on hand. Some dishwashers have a abrasive nature and can dull the finish of the pan. This is exactly what I was talking about, that some can, they can look a little bit like they've been worn and then they're old and I want them nice and shiny. So anyway, enough about the instructions. Let's see the pan now. So it's quite heavy. I think it was like two kilos. I might be talking nonsense. I'll correct myself if that's the case, but yeah. I've read somewhere that they're like almost eight kilos and um, has this super dry to keep it dry inside so it doesn't get any moisture, so it doesn't get any rusty. The bottom feels very smooth and even. It's quite heavy, but the heavier the pan or the pot, I'm telling you this for a fact, 
the more better quality it is. You don't want them, whenever you put them on the cooker, to actually start twisting and turning at the bottom and that's just going to cause unevenly cooking to, to your meal. So it's quite large as you can see. That's my hand. And you can cook pretty much a whole meal for a, for a four member family. And I got this for frying, for stir fries, for pasta, like one pan pasta. And it has a really nice handle. It has like um, a little bit of perforated here. And this uh, just like attached. I was thinking maybe that they're gonna be, how do you call that? You know, when a metal mail goes a metal with something that buzzes. I'm not sure of the name of the English name, but anyway, sorry for that. They are just uh, attached like with uh, some screws or bolts. But it seems to me like it's quite quite thick. It has a good grip. It has a good grip here on the handle. You can see like it's a little bit wider here and then it gets a little bit thinner. I can see it a little bit scratched on the handle, but it's not a big deal. I'm just a little bit of a perfection, but it basically has like a, just a scratch going over. But that's just gonna happen with the use, so I'm not gonna hold them for that. I'm just happy that they're here and I can start cooking in them. So anyway, that's the pan. So before I unpack the other stuff, I'll give you what else I ordered. These are like wooden spoons. I wanted to start using wooden utensils because I used to have plastic ones up until now. As I said, like I just uh, arrived in the UK and my kitchen was all just like things that you get by because I wasn't sure if my visa was going to be approved. So I didn't want to invest too much in my cookware. So I just bought simple things. As you can see, these are uh, Quick design as well. They have uh, tags on them, but I think I'm just gonna keep. If these are stainless steel, they should not be rusting. So I think I'm just gonna keep them because I have a hanging unit in the kitchen. I want my utensils to be visible on front of me. So when I need one, I just take one instead of just like looking through them. So it's a pasta spoon. Let's see what they're called. I'm not sure how they're called. So spatula, a pasta spoon wooden spoon and solid spatula. No, solid spatula. Okay, that's the solid spatula, that's a solid, solid spatula, that's a wooden spoon and that's a pasta, pasta spoon. I'm quite happy actually, I was expecting them to be a little bit lighter than this, but they are really like a little bit heavy and I can see there is a good quality wood. Let's see, does it say from what wood they're done? Oh, it's beech wood. Okay. Or maybe not. Actually, that's the other spoons. Sorry, I'm getting confused a little bit here because I have other wooden spoons. Yeah, it doesn't say what wood they're made of, but it just said that they're wooden. So yeah, I'm quite happy with them. I think they're gonna last long. I just need to be careful. Anyway, put them aside. Actually, I'll put them back. But the reason why I didn't get stainless steel, like, I know stainless steel utensils, they can go with the stainless steel um, pans as well, but First of all, they were a little bit expensive, I must say, but uh, second of all, I feel like you don't really use that much utensil. I mean, the only thing I'm missing is just now, it's a ladle, which I'm going to have to probably order it uh, from another place. You can get wooden ladles as well. I just prefer wooden. I, I like rustic, a little bit uh, old-fashioned uh, kitchens and stainless steel utensils, yes, they can be they can be great, but these are more safe to use. Like you can use them on the uh, coated pans and if you have, if you still uh, have, or you can use them on your stainless steel. Anyway, that's out of the way. Got these tongs, nothing special. It's just a stainless steel tongue that I needed just for flipping the meat when I'm cooking or for grabbing a bunch of salad and put it in the plate and I like it, you can lock it just like pretty much with uh, anyone else and it has um, a good silicone handles here which are having a good grip here so that's just the spoon oh sorry I wasn't I didn't tell you, uh, tell you the price of those right so the pan was 44 pounds the wooden utensils were two pounds each but there was some kind of a discount and I got three pounds discount of uh, the wooden utensils. So they were supposed to be eight pounds, but I got them for five. And it was the same thing with the casserole dish. And I have a casserole dish and I have um, another pot. They were like uh, together and just like it was like four pounds. Now, 
It's not a lot of a discount, it's just seven pounds, but still, it's a discount. It's a coffee for me. Anyway, that's the spoon out of the way. If you don't know what this is, this is supposed to be a lemon squeezer. And I don't know about you, but when I squeeze a lemon, I just have the lemon and then I take a spoon and just twist it like this until I actually was watching uh, one show, uh, How to Cook That, and uh, it's a very popular channel, Australian, for cooking, for cakes. I don't know how to bake or anything, but I'm just, I just enjoy watching cakes. It's very relaxing. But anyway, um, I saw her squeezing a lemon, and she was using this kind of a utensil, and I thought, like, that's a genius idea. I wish it was a little bit wider, maybe, because I feel like my lemons are just a little bit big for this. But it doesn't matter, you can always squeeze the lemon. So basically what you do is like you get the lemon into your hand and you put it like this and then just turn around the spoon until the lemon drips wherever you want it. So I, I think that's just great because I used to do it, as I said, like just take a spoon and just turn it around the lemon because there is no way I'm going to be able to use um, force to just squeeze the lemon or I don't like using the uh, utensil that you get uh, with a tree underneath because that's just like more things to wash. This is wooden, you just uh, do what you need to do with the lemon and it actually feels very heavy and feels very nice. It's a honey spoon. Again, I don't like using metal in it. Because honey is so raw and it doesn't have any processing, I do believe that some of the things that are said about using a wooden spoon, not, I can't get very technical on this. I'll just um, um, link an article that I actually came upon when I was doing my research. But basically, in my country, like this is left like for everyone. You just don't use a, um, a metal spoon. Now, don't get me wrong. Nowadays, uh, honey has been processed into large factories. It's not anymore the organic honey that you just get from the producer. So who knows if they're using metal in the process of um, packaging the honey? Uh, but this has to do something with the positive and negative ions. Uh, it is believed that the bees are actually producing, in the process of producing, uh, they are producing ions that are contrary to the human body and that has a big effect on the human health. And if you uh, get a spoon, um, a metal spoon inside the honey, those properties are lost because the metal uh, it just uh, annulates them. I'm not sure how much of a research there is for this to be backed up. I would rather play on the safe side. I'd rather use a wooden spoon and know that that has some benefit for me than use a metal spoon without knowing if that's good or bad. So I'm just going to stick to the wooden spoon. Again, this is nice and it actually it's, it's quite cute to have it in the kitchen as well. Just imagine making a cup of tea. We always take the tea with honey, by the way. So just uh, scoop out the honey and then just uh, use this spoon. I actually think it's quite cute. Okay, let's just move on. There's nothing else over here. Oh, by the way, I got this for sharpening knives. And I got this for free. Uh, it wasn't advertised on the web page that they're actually giving this for free. But I went somewhere and I, got, I found a discount code from some codes and stuff on the webpage. I went on Google and I researched for discount codes, pro code, because I had a large uh, order and it just gave me a free um, a free product, which is this whetstone. Apparently it's supposed to be like over 28 pounds, which I, I'm not sure how true is that. Let's see if the price is actually somewhere here. No, it just says Procode Whetstone 6 degree, it's 0 pounds. I'll, I'll see on the web page how much this costs. I, I don't believe this is costing more than 10 pounds anyway. I don't believe it's 20 odd. So it's 6 degree Procook, uh, their own brand, and it feels really nice. It uh, feels very uh, heavy. And actually, there was um, more uh, codes. There was one for um, uh, some knife, another one for another knife, and this was uh, for the stone. I do need a, a stone like this for sharpening because I found that the stainless steel sharpeners, you know, the, the ones that are just like icebreakers, they don't really work a lot for me. That's just me because um, I actually think it might be the knives because they're not really uh, super premium quality. They're just like cheap knives from Russell Hobbs or something, I think. But anyway, um, that doesn't do the work for me. I do believe this is going to do a better job. 
anyway let's just put this away so it does give you instructions how to use i appreciate that because not everyone knows especially younger generations like us not everyone knows how to use it so i do appreciate the instructions at the back okay so we have two more left and let's just see i'm gonna go with the pot first let me just get it. it's quite heavy okay so here it is take it out This one has a lid on. It's called an accident. It's okay, we're fine. Okay, so the lid feels a little bit light. I don't really like that. I was expecting the lid to be a little bit like a thicker glass, and you can hear that this is not very thick. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know, maybe I was just uh, having different expectations. Again, it has those instructions. It has, again, a thick bottom. It's quite large. It's uh, 24 centimeters in diameter, 9.5 inches and 7.2 liters, right? And has markings over here of liter two, three to six liters. You can fill it up with six liters. Anyway, I wish you had a little bit of larger handles. Now, I have small hands and that's all right for me, but I would appreciate if you had a little bit more space here. So whenever you're just like filling it up with water, just go grab it. It's just, it's a little bit um, tight here. Other than that, it has the same handles. I was actually aiming them to be a little bit like a, from the same program, so they don't differ a lot. It has a very, it's quite heavy, again, which is a good thing. I'm not seeing it as a bad thing. Uh, it's the same material and everything. Um, we can use this lid. And again, I feel like this is a good pot for a good size family. You can cook uh, a, a full family meal in it and uh, Maybe have some leftovers. So, going on to the last one, and that's a casserole pan. I actually think uh, this is the same size as the pot a little bit. The pot is 24 and this one is 28. I did got one with lid, and I think if I'm lucky, the lid is going to match this pan as well. Oh, this one has a lid too. Oh, I'm sorry. Just ah oh, right yes sorry it was just for this lid to be matching on the frying pan that's what I wanted yep because they're both 28 centimeters yep this is 28 and that's 28 so it means the lid is gonna match the pan as well because I like sometimes when I find things to cover it so it doesn't get sprayed all over the place anyway that's out of the way and here we go. Oh, look at that. That's just so great. I love it. You can use this for frying. You can use it in the oven. It's just great for preparing so many meals. I love it. Again, it's quite heavy. 28 centimeters or 6.1 liter. It's the same program, basically. And it really looks great. I mean, I can, I can see myself using this one a lot. And I mean a lot. Let's see if the lid, which should be, just to make sure and I can tell to you that you don't really have to buy another lid because you'll just have one and you'll use it on whichever you're using. Now, the chances that you're going to be using this both pans, which have like similar use at the same time, are very unlikely. So you're just going to make yourself a favor by just buying one lid and pan. And there you go. It's an exact match. So now I have my pan with the lid as well, and I don't have to have three lids into my cupboard. So this is gonna match, and I'm quite happy with it actually. So there you go. So in conclusion, like on the first go, these pans look like they're gonna be very good quality, like they're gonna last me for a long time. I'll be happy if I get like 10 years of use of this. If somewhere down the line you would like an update of um, these pots and pans when I try, maybe I can try to cook something 
uh, on the camera just so you see how they perform. I don't expect much to be honest, like I do expect a, a, a decent um, pots and pans that are going to allow me to cook my meals more fresh and uh, to retain their nutrients much more because I'm paying attention to that a lot lately. So yeah, that will be it. I'm quite happy with my purchase. As I said, I'll put the links down below so you can go and see which set did I order, what was the pan did I order, uh, that I ordered. And uh, you can go on the Pro Cook site. And I actually am going to link the web page when I found the discount code as well, if you're interested. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. That's the Pro Cook review of the pans and see you some other time. Bye.